What is up my fellow Diablo 3 horror fiends? Today we're talking collectibles and I noticed this brand new Diablo Lord of Terror bust. And th this, I actually saw this on the Battle.net launcher. So the Blizzard Battle.net launcher, if you want to open that, it'll, it'll bring you here directly to the store. Otherwise, just type in Blizzard Store in Google and it should be the first link that comes up. When I saw this, I was wowed immediately because I do buy collectibles. I have quite a, a huge collection. In fact, I have like a little separate cupboard kind of room that's just dedicated to my collectibles. But we'll talk about that another time. However, the thing that I'm disappointed with is, you know, as soon as I saw the price, I was like amazed. However, I was hoping when I saw this, it looks like a life-size bust. However, you look at the actual size, it's 10 inches, which is less than 30 centimeters. So 30 centimeters I can gauge by the size of the ruler that I used to use in high school. It was like 30 centimeters. So I know roughly my ruler is like whatever, like that's like 30 centimeters long. So it's not that big it's smaller than that and for 140 dollars i mean imagine how amazing this would look life-sized and i just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention if it was life-size i would probably buy it but it would be at least you know a thousand dollars a thousand plus 1500 maybe if not more with that kind of detail and life size so i just wanted to let everyone know that this is out brand new diablo bust it looks incredible but when i clicked on it i was just a little disappointed at the size but i'll probably still buy it I'll probably get that today, but since we're talking collectibles, well, let's have a look. Yeah, it's so detailed. This looks... It looks incredible, but like I said, if this was life-size, oh my god. Check that out. Look at the detail. That's an actual close-up. That's not like uh, concept art or anything. That's a close-up of the actual bust. The actual work there. So, very high-quality stuff. 140 bucks, that's pretty cheap for such detail, but it is quite small, so just be aware. If you think it's going to be huge, life-size, it ain't. It's like a ruler that you used in high school. So let's have a look at some of these other awesome collectibles here. Wow, this one definitely has me interested. Oh, definitely going to buy this one today. It's only four ninety nine ninety nine. If it was $500 or more, I would not consider buying this, but because it's under five hundred dollars excluding shipping obviously this would be coming from america because it's under 500 i kind of believe they're practically giving this away so i'm going to be buying this shortly uh not right now because i don't want to see uh i don't want people to see my credit card details if you don't mind but let's have a look at this this i have a thing for like evil female figures female oh this is so Amazingly detailed. So we've come across this by accident. This is definitely much needed in my collection. Lilith. So that's just a measly $4.99. I'm definitely going to be buying that in a moment. So, wow. Check that out, people. Another awesome uh, figurine. Another awesome collectible while we're going through this. Let's see what else there is available. So this one's $44. How small must that be? It must be like a chess piece. Uh, where's the size? The size is here, silly me, in the details section where it should be 8 inches tall. So, it's 2 inches smaller than the Diablo. So, yeah, it's pretty small. Uh, I don't like uh, statues and collectibles that are quite that small. I'd like to see what it actually looks like. I might check it out somewhere, like on YouTube or something, and see, like, I might Google it and see, like, I want to see someone holding it, so it's a comparison, like, images like this are very tricky, it could be that big, you know, it could be that big, it could be that, it could be tiny, you just can't, you, you can't tell with, a, like, an, an image like that, uh, Mathiel here, same sort of thing, I bet you he's eight inches, ten and quite tall, whatever that means, it's still pretty, I believe it's still quite small, so it's probably, like, what, ten inch, is that what quat means? No idea. Let's have a look what else there is. Anything good? No, that's about it. Um, that Diablo there doesn't really interest me. So there you go. We'll talk some collectibles today. That's the brand new one, the Diablo one, the bust. Like I said, if that was life-size, I'm still kicking myself for not buying the life-size bust of one of the Reapers from Blade 2. It looked absolutely incredible where he's got his like tongue sticking out for those of you that uh, have seen Blade 2, vampire fans. I love vampires. I'm obsessed with vampires. My next tattoo is going to be vampire related. So I'm kicking myself for not buying that. 
this I probably would have went out and bought, but obviously I knew something was wrong for $140. It couldn't be life size and it's quite small. But there you go. If you're all interested, it's definitely a good collectible and I'm still going to buy it. Like even though it's small, I'm just a little disappointed. I would have preferred it being big. I'm not trying to diss this. It looks absolutely amazing. I don't mean to sound negative about it. The detail, like look at that. Incredible. So if you're like collectibles, you're welcome.